Welcome back to Gold Rush the Game on the PlayStation, episode 5, with me, Mr. Sealy P. We're back. I find myself at a pivotal moment. I'm going to turn the light on. This horrible day. Look! Look at this! I've got a broken part on my mobile wash plant. Things have changed a little bit again. <laughs> I had two mobile, 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 mobile wash plants set up here which was fine I've moved one just over there I'm probably gonna sell that back in just a moment it worked okay the setup was all right I had them back to back and I was using my wheel loader and I was tipping them in but the problem I found was because they were right next to each other the tipping in was uneven so one would fill up before the other sometimes one would say that I was losing pay dirt and the other one wasn't quite full getting it absolutely perfectly lined up was just a pain and realistically, it wasn't gaining anything because it was still taking me as long to fill up two. If I fill up one, move the bucket, fill it up again, exactly the same amount of time as it would take me to fill up two. So it really you know, doesn't matter. But it broke. So that part came off. There's a crack in it. I don't know if you can see the crack just down there. Um, so I went down to the store, bought myself two. Now, hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I bought two. Bought myself two replacement parts. These are standard ones. They were 280 each. You could buy a reinforced one for 2,800. And I thought, well, to be fair, the single one has lasted absolutely ages. Oh, Let me get up there. I did earlier. Oh, come on. Yeah, the single one lasted absolutely ages. Let's put it on. And I think I need to tighten the bolt at the end there. So go on to what I want, wrench, and then screw. And we should be back in business. That's my first breakdown, damaged item. So I thought, you know what, let's have a look, see it being replaced and repaired. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this bit. Do I just, do I return that? Has that got any scrap value? I really don't know. So, the pivotal moment I find myself at, I'm going to carry on. I've got 3,193.978 grams of gold. Let's pop that there. I'm going, I suppose I could have just taken that one off there, couldn't I? Mind you, then that would have gone back partly broken, wouldn't it? I don't know. Well, yeah. Mobile wash plant jet. It's got a, a value of 25. Right, they're both gone. So, I would like to say, I'm going to carry on. And for those people, who was it that mess sent the message about it being clickbait? It, well, no, it was Tanya Cheek. It was just a joke that I showed me buying the wheel loader. It was on the thumbnail, and then I didn't show me using it. So, don't worry, I will. Now, tier three. It's taken me a while to get to this point again. Look at my magnet site, though, 56,432. So, what we'll do is when we go and sell the gold, we're going to upgrade the blacksmiths a little bit so we can hopefully either have less gold loss or faster smelting time or something along those lines we'll do that is setting all this up now i'm going to go down to the store as well at some point and we're going to price everything up with regard to renting now this is what i mean about being a pivotal moment if i keep doing what i'm doing and every time i reach a point where i've got enough money to buy an item then I'll bring the item over and I'll put it in place. Then I'll go again and buy a an item, bring it over, put it in place. It's going to take me a month of Sundays to get it done. I may just have to bite the bullet and rent. Problem being, renting is not cheap and it's every 24 hours. I got caught out with something else. Was it one of the excavators? I got the excavator quite late in the day. Something like 5 o'clock I think it was. And it charged me for a day's rental. At midnight I got charged again. So it wasn't like a, like, you know, at midnight you get clobbered. It wasn't a rolling 24 hours. It was, yeah, so, yeah, I was a bit naughty. I thought I didn't get part rental for part day. So, uh, yeah, that's actually full. Let's get that turned on. I'm also very aware, like I said before, about the noise. No, that's the wrong one. That was turning it off. That's turning it off. Turn that one. Turn that one on, and let's have a look at the, the quarry that I've created. Lights, engine, 
handbrake. Now you can see the ground level. <clears throat> you see where I kind of dug around before, and I don't know if you can see actually very well. And this is where we've come to, all the way down into here. It's a bit crazy, so let's slip up a little bit. It's a bit bonkers. Bucket full, lift, reverse. Avoid those posts because they don't like being broken. There'll be a horrible crunching sound. And because this bucket holds 10 cubic metres, double what the large excavator does, you can almost fill the mobile wash plant in one go. And it takes a few loads to get the bucket to 100%, but I like this as, a, as an alternative. It works quite well. Today. And away we go again. So I'm going to break one of those. Yep, that snaps it. Take a bit from here now, I think. The wheel loader, I personally, I, I, I didn't mind using the small excavator. The large excavator was great. And once you get into the kind of routine and the habit and the controls, great bit of kit. I'm going to have to lease one of those because moving the equipment is going to require chains and stuff. That's going to be something interesting. So even if I don't get the tier 3 stuff up and running, later on, hopefully in this episode, I'm going to at least go and get some stuff, get it transported, and then we'll get the uh, we'll get the gear, hopefully move it to place. I'd like to say I don't know how it's going to work. Um, or how long it's going to take, and that's the thing. Because the days go by quite quick, every time you stop, to do something like that, to get a new bit of equipment, to move it over, to go down to the shop. You're thinking, this is time I'm wasting, I should be working. So I'm also now thinking, I'm going to have to have a serious look at the hiring of workers. I'm not reversing. Come on, there we go. Because I haven't even looked into that yet, and I'm curious to see how that all works. And if that means I can have someone maybe doing this, I don't, know, so I don't know how it works. Will they go to a defined place? Do you have to set a place? Can you hire a wheel loader operator? Or what do the workers do? Haven't looked into that at all yet. So that'll be something to uh, to look forward to, isn't it? So like I say, I'm going to see you in a little while, and hopefully I've got a bit more money. We'll get down into the town, sort some stuff. The problem as well is, with the rental, well, it'd be no different if I bought the stuff, but with the rental side of things, I've got to rent all of that gear, and there's a lot of it. Let me just um, put the handbrake on. Lights, engine. And we'll go back into here again and have another look. Because if we go across two, tier, three. Like I said before in the last episode, it's not as simple as what it says there. That says shaker, trommel, duplex jigs, sluice boxes, big power generator, cables. Cables I can grab, put in the back of the pickup. Shaker, trommel, duplex jig, sluice boxes, big power generator, all have to be transported. That's going to set me back, I reckon, transportation fees, 20 grand, 15, 20 grand, I suppose, for transporting them. But you don't just need that. To do the setup, if we go across one more, that looks all very wonderful. And I suppose you can tip straight onto the shaker, can you, maybe? But realistically... Well, that's the extension. We're not looking at the extension yet. That adds a whole other load of stuff on. Um, we need... Where's our stuff? Let's go to... Is it under tools? Go across. I oh, know we're onto vehicles. Those. Conveyor belt and hopper. and hopper. So on top of all that other stuff, we need the conveyor belt and hopper to be able to tip into... To, I mean, again, assuming you could probably tip directly onto the shaker which I could still do with my wheel loader, that's fine. But the next step then on is, yes, there's that, the extension, but this is an extension to that as well. It's all expensive. It all requires rental or buying or, indeed, transporting. And the transporting's not going to be cheap. So this is the pivotal moment. This is the bit where I, it has to be that doing that operation makes you enough money 
and it should do that's the whole point of it isn't it you're going up a tier up to the next level that we can shift enough dirt in a day and make enough money that it will cover all of the costs and we'll still make a massive profit because what i'm doing at the moment is time consuming but fairly inexpensive and very profitable i don't want to get to a point where just to save me a bit of time i'm spending an absolute fortune but i guess that's the next step of See you when I'm richer. It's 11.48. Money's looking very good. I say money. The gold is, not money. The quarry is... Well, I mean, we've... Massive chunk taken out of that. I am in the process of a little bit of housekeeping. We need to refuel a couple of the... The Jenny and the pump on that one and that one my repair of the mobile wash plant is holding up perfectly now we're just going to get the last bit of gold from the last bit I've done and the water pump on from that one turn that on then we'll put that over there run the wave table put the magnetite in the trailer then we're heading off to town we've got a gold nugget to transform magnetite to use the blacksmiths stop doing that. Doing that that back under there and what we'll do is power for that on while well, that's doing its thing top right our gold should be going up i'm going to take the dirt our magnetite and put it into the trailer now it's time for the scary bit i'm gonna buy what i can we'll see how much money we make i'll do what i did before we'll go to the blacksmiths and i'll I'll speed up the process in so much as I'll get all the gold bars sorted out, but I'll do that off camera. And while that's running, oh, I'm doing right uh, That's also, you're probably not supposed to tip, top up a generator or a pump while they're running. <laughs> not the best idea. Right there. Oops. And we're looking. About 312 grams from that load. Right, turn that off. Turn that off. I love the kind of complexity, I say complexity, it's as complex as you make it, but what have I left running? Something's running somewhere. This one. Right, everything's switched off. The spare parts had a couple of um, cables, not cables, uh, power cables. A couple of power cables. I've got a bucket needs to go over as well. And that spare, I've got another spare water bar. I've put over, there's sort of like a storage thing with shelves over there. I've stuck it all over there for the time being. Which is where we need to be. Now, the good thing is, we are in summer. But one thing it did say about summer was you can run out of water. But it does say in all the journal stuff that if it rains, it replenishes the rivers and stuff very well. It, I've had rain every single day so far. So I don't think we're going to have a problem with water. I, mean, I don't know. We've got seven days to go, to be fair. Uh, break. So who knows, but... I'm kind of excited and terrified all the same time I keep doing that. The next step is approaching. I'll go to the blacksmiths and sort the magnetite situation out first because I want to work out the best option for us for either... Um, see, I'm not too bothered about the time it takes to make the gold bar, so potentially if we can reduce our losses or reduce the cost of getting the gold bars made, that increased our profits. The time situation, I suppose that is technically still profit though, isn't it? 
because the time I spend over there while I'm getting gold nuggets smelted, I'm not actually getting work done. I'm also looking forward to having a look at this situation with workers. I know I've mentioned it a few times now, but I don't think I'm quite there yet. 76,678 litres, not litres, grams of magnetites. Right, I'll see the black in just a second and let's see what we can do with this. You know what's going to happen, don't you? It's taken me this long to get to where I am with the amount of gold I've got and the magnetite. It's now one o'clock in the afternoon. By the time the gold's been smelted, I'm going to start going over to check out the vehicles. It's going to be getting dark in, isn't it? So for moving the vehicles over, I might have to wait till tomorrow morning. So what I think I'll probably do is I'll do some more work on my mobile wash plant. Then we'll move everything for tier three in daylight. I don't want to be doing it in the dark because I want you, know, you guys to be able to see what we're doing as well. So, magnetite upgrades time upgrade smelting time reduced smelting cost reduced for 35,000 gold losses gold loss reduced now what do I want to go for do I want to go for smelting cost reduced what's that one only 50,000 smelting amount increase so that will smelt more at a time that's right isn't it but that's the same as the time one i'm not too worried about that at the moment cost and gold losses you know what i could do both of those couldn't i yeah let's do both of those and then we'll work up to Yeah, we'll work up to those. Right, so. Uh, we now want to go to smelt. Let's smelt some gold. So, like I said, I will now for you seconds, for me a little while, um, let's get all these gold bars done. We'll get them in the back of the pickup. We'll go to the bank, sell them. See what we got available. We'll work out a list of machinery and equipment. What I think we need. <laughs> there was, there's going to be stuff I miss, and then we'll come back for it. That's not a problem. And then um, I'll buy what I can. If I was in trouble, I don't want to buy stuff. Nice. How do you go about it? If I buy stuff first, and then I haven't got enough money left to rent everything and transport it all over, but if I rent stuff first. Hmm, it's a tricky one. That's the first gold bar. Isn't it? Nope, that didn't work. Pop that there. Is that open? It will. I thought I'd lost that for a minute. <gasps> no. You need a pocket, don't you, really? That's us done, ready to go. Gold's all been done. I tell you what, doing those upgrades, um, the gold bar's significantly quicker, so if you can get to a point you can do that, absolutely, I would go for it. Um, so yeah, they're all in here. Let's go now to the bank, sell the gold, see what we get. And then let's start looking at this list of stuff. <laughs> I'm just thinking if we can... We should be able to cover the leasing costs. But the problem then is as we start buying new bits, it's going to be a case of taking old bits out. I oh, mind you, we can sell it at the site, but transporting stuff out there again. So I'm going to be double transporting, kind of. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Thank you to all the people that have commented, uh, well, have been commenting on the videos and said people seem to be really enjoying it. 
Um, and also, people have mentioned the water tower. I'm pretty sure the water tower on the site, pretty sure the water tower on the site, is 150 grand, I think, to fix, to upgrade. Someone said it was 150 dollars. I'm sure it's 150 thousand. So, sell gold bars. No, I thought I'd have more. I thought it was the whole point. I'd get more and they'd be worth more. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's sell them all. Yes. 219,508. So we made more this time. Well, we had more gold sell. We had about four and a half kilos last time. And this time, about five and a half kilos. So, yeah, we made more more money which is where we need to be now to the store um i i'm thinking possibly depending on the price maybe we should buy the power generator and the rest lease i don't i really don't know if the trommel's not too expensive maybe buy that i'm just thinking of the cheaper bits to get getting them oh cables i need as well for transportation and i'm going to need to lease oh blimey yeah uh i'm going to need to lease the large excavator because I'm going to need that for moving equipment around on site. The wheel loader doesn't lift high enough to lift some of the stuff up whereas the excavator will and I should be able to on the excavator bucket yeah, hook up chains onto that as well. So let's see. First on my list says shaker and that's this unit isn't it? How much is that? 72 grand. That's 18% off at the moment. That's not too bad. Uh, we've got the trommel, which is we're going to go for. That's the standard trommel, isn't it? Twenty-seven grand. We'll add the trommel to the list now. Wow, can't believe we're doing this. Um, right, this is the other expensive bit, isn't it? Oh no, that's not as right. Power generator. Let's add that to the list. I thought that was going to be way higher. I've just got a list here next to me. Trommel. We've got a uh, big power generator. Um, the duplex jig, is that here or is that over at the other store? I'm not sure about the jig. That's a sort of load of extra gear, isn't it? Um, we need sluices. Oh, the other thing as well was people commented again about the uh, loading screen thing. That's that's the same across all the console and PC. It does that. The loading screen happens. Oh, what sluice boxes do I need? It doesn't actually say, does it? Um, just says sluice boxes. What ones do I need? Sluice box. I have absolutely no idea. I mean... That's a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? Oh, hang on, we've got this as well. ST sluice box. S rock sluice box. T D J sluice box. Hmm. I'll have to have a look on the instructions for those. Well, someone list then. Duplex jig must be further over. Conveyor belt and hopper. How much are these things? These were quite pricey, weren't they? 34 8. Do I just go for that and then lease a couple of other bits? I realise I'm going to eat into my money really quickly, aren't I? Because we need to lease. We won't have to have it for very long. Problem is, look at the time. 3.52. Can I get it all moved and not get clobbered for extra costs? 2.969. We'll rent that. I have to go across the road for the duplex jig, cables. I'm going to go for medium cables, I think. Right, let's check out. 74889, okay. So we want to... Trouble, big excavator, big power generator, 4,500. Order... They should be being shipped. Oh, that's the paint window as well, the paint shop. Um, someone asked about that. I've got a pickup truck, front end loader. The big excavator is not mine, that's rented. 
but then you can click on each one and go across and you've got various different flags and things that will go on the side of your vehicles um, for your pickup front end load is a bit more expensive if we look at the prices for things 100,000 250,000 if you, if you want to have a that's quite nice the digicam that's 500 grand to paint your front end loader but yes you can do that duplex jig unless we're across the road I'll grab the pickup in a minute but and then what I'll do is I'll I'll cut to site I'll do a little bit more research I need to do a bit, some, bit more reading here work out about that's my trailer I bought that trailer and haven't actually used it yet that's been sat there for ages probably tells me I didn't need it in the first place duplex jig the jig is up mr. duplex uh, where are we it's none of that gubbins is it the other thing I was gonna look at was lights I haven't really looked at lighting am I missing something really obvious I think I need to have a look for it don't I first so again it's gonna be dark again. I'm gonna move all this stuff in the morning probably I'll go back over to site, carry on with my work, and then we'll move all this gear in the morning. I'm going to get clobbered for the the large excavator, aren't I? Mm, that's annoying. Hang on a second, then. Things are ab about to get interesting. I have um, grabbed some stuff. I've grabbed a load of these hooks, the four-meter ones. I did work out the duplex jig was at the equipment bit. It's that, which I think I bought. I'm sure I didn't lease that. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, before it gets too dark, I'm going to use the large excavator. I'm going to move our power plant. We're going to move the trommel. Where's my... Did I not get the shaker? I could just oh, maybe I didn't. So I've got to be careful now what's leased and what's bought. And um, I, I'm not too proud to admit I came out, checked on the tutorial. I think I need one of each of the sluices. Um, that goes down to the duplex jig. I need the long one that comes down the side to the trommel, and I need the large one that comes off the shaker. So we're going to need one of each. What we'll do is jump in this, do that. Do that. Start it up. Is it on that? Camera's not letting me move. Oh yeah, okay. What we'll do is stop there a second. Hop out, then I'll attach each of the hooks. We'll then try and attach those onto the container. I'll move the container, and then what I'll do is I'll go and grab the other bits that I need. Let's <sighs> the light on. I haven't got anywhere near enough. I need more. There are grates you need that go down one of the sluices. Sluice grates. They're about two grand a pop. I need four of those. I only bought one. <laughs> I wasn't sure how many of those I need. So I bought a few bits. I'm going to be woefully short on power cables. So I'm going to need to get some more power cables. Um, like I said, the water tower over there. We'll go and have a look in a little while. Have I got one? That's weird. Okay. Oh dear, that's weird. How has that been left there? That's from something else I tried that didn't work before. <laughs> got one too many now. Now it's going to pour rain and get dark really early. That's just what I need. Um, I've bought some more moss mats. I'm going to run one duplex jig because as far as I can tell, look at the instructions, the extension is adding the second duplex jig. I think. Now I've already got the hog... Um, drop that there. If we go in, I know I keep coming back to this, but it's the best way of doing it. Like I said, I'm not too proud to admit Sometimes you have to look at stuff to work out what you're doing. So A, on the right hand side, instruction 6, A is the shaker. B is the rocks grate. Then C is the ST sluice. 
D is the trommel. E, the two that come down, are, what ones they? The T, D, five sluices. Then F is the duplex jig. Now, it's showing two there, but if I go across a page, it's showing the wash plant system extension as adding another duplex jig and then putting the hog pan system, which we've already got over our dig site where we were doing it by shovel. So we can bring that over. That then gives you three, three places to collect gold. No, four places, because you get it off of one of the sluices coming down, you get it off the sluice that comes off the shaker, you get it out of the duplex jig, and then you'll get it out of the hog pan at the bottom as well. Um, hopefully that will bring everything out. But the problem is as well, I think we need the nugget nuggetator, the gold nuggetator, which it also hasn't said we need yet, so fun times. Uh, we'll switch back to that. And that on lights. See what I will do, I think we'll and break a big right here. What's he done now? Are we gonna but needless to say, this is how I will move the rest of the gear. I'll go up on top, though. Whoa, that's not supposed to do that. Okay, let's do that. 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 Now, do we cut the ladder? Yes, we do. No, up. Hop, hop, hop. Come on. Oh, my days. Seriously. And there we go. The cable's too short. Oh, you've got to make it. I have to lower that down a little bit. Or if I grab the wrong one. Maybe. Is that what I need? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So I so say I've got a funny feeling I'm going to be backwards and forwards a bit to go to the various different locations. So cause I'll realise there's going to be bits I'm going to miss, there's bits I'm going to need. The water I'm going to take from the river to start off with. I know there are loads of different splitters available for power, there are splitters available for water. Um, I'll set up as best I can. And like I say, if, if it's I haven't got enough stuff or enough money to get going initially I can still fall back on the rig I'm running at the moment like I said I didn't really want to do this in the dark where's the well that's going to be handy how am I supposed to hook that one up when I can't actually get to it I'm going to stick with three I don't care anymore Switch to that, and let's go. He says, whoa, easy tiger. Slow and gentle. Put that down. So if you weren't sure how you're supposed to hook things up, that's kind of how you do it. A bit weird about that fourth one, I can't really do a lot about that. I, I think if I'd have gone for the three metre cables, they would have been too short. The 
fives might have worked. So yeah, I'm going to spend a bit of time now getting things into place. I'm going to kind of go with where this was placed for the tutorial. But I might have it facing more towards me, I think. Which end's open? I can't remember. That end's open, right. So I'm thinking about there kind of thing. about you know what doesn't matter I'm gonna as soon as I hit midnight I'm gonna get clobbered for another set of fees so the lights off hop out right let's get these chains off that's one thing in place anyway that's gonna need refueling I've got fuel in my little tank so we should be good there let's unhook that uh, let's unhook that one I'll go back for the trommel and then I wasn't attached anyway. <laughs> and let's get all this stuff moved. Duplex jig will move into place. So the shaker, do I just buy it? I do need, to, I've got to lease some stuff. I, 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 that's what the whole point is renting. I cannot afford, I can't afford to buy everything at the moment. So some of this stuff is going to have to be leased. That's the one that goes down to the duplex jig, isn't it? Not sure how I'm going to get to that to put it in place, but and the trommel needs to go. Which means just thinking, can I come over the top of the hill and place that the way round? Things will seem better in the daylight. Here's where I'm at. I'm down to 7,021. The uh, large excavator is going back. I ended up having to swap out the 4 metre cables for 5 metre cables. It was the only way I could lift most of the equipment. I don't want to get charged again for another day on that. So it says sell, but it's just returning. Now, I was really hoping I would be able to be set up and running by now. Now, did I rent anything? At the moment, no, and that's why I've got barely any money left. I'm also incredibly concerned I'm not going to have enough money to buy all the various different things I need to hook everything up. Something I did check, and I'm going to just show you now, because I, I thought, you know what I'll do, I'll go over and I'll rent the conveyor belt and the hopper for the conveyor. But as it turns out, because there's this wooden bit here, I can do it with the front end loader, the wheel loader, from here, like you would onto the mobile water table. No, not water table. Although, I need to make sure. So as you can see, that's a 43%. So, my worry of need to go and rent more gear I can add the conveyor belt and hopper at a later date let me just stop there and engine off and lights off so are we ready for tier three nearly we're so close we've got our shaker that's here we've got our rock sluice which is that one there We've got the second sluice, which has got those... I, I didn't even have enough money. This takes four of these mats here. The sluice box grates. I could only afford to get three, 
because I didn't have enough money to buy one and pay another leasing cost on the large excavator overnight. So it would only let me buy three. So what will happen is it will come from the shaker down through here. This collects dirt, which can be shoveled out with a small shovel into a bucket there. We then go onto the trommel, which is in, which is fantastic. <laughs> we've got the duplex jig and we've got the third of the sluices. Now this sluice here will take mats, moss mats and grills that cover them and the duplex jig will take two buckets underneath it. That needs to be plugged in as well. The extension on from that is adding the hog pan stuff which I've got over there and a second sluice system, uh, another duplex rig. Now what I did in the dark, <laughs> genius move, I bought the stuff over and I came over the top with the large excavator, I put the sluice there and the duplex jig here <laughs> so they didn't line up so i had to bring it all back around and readjust and we got there in the end i say we got there in the end now as far as cables and all the rest of it goes um i've got the grills to go over the matting i've got some matting here and some over at my hog pan setup i've got two power cables one running to the shaker one running to the trommel at the moment I don't need any power yet over here because I'm not putting in the conveyor belt or the hopper yet. I have got a power splitter. Where are we? I bought a power splitter with some smaller cables. And I've got some smaller cables over there. So I'm going to need another... Actually, I've got a higher voltage power cable over there. I need to run a higher power voltage cable... Higher voltage power cable from here all the way down around here. Because that's where I'm going to have all my wave table and magnetite separator and all that will be down here and then i need to run water now like i said if i come over to here uh, the water tower that's destroyed Hang on. that's weird why did that not come up huh. last time i come over to check that it's um it came up with the cost for repairing it. I'm sure it was... Oh, there you go. There you go. 150,000 to repair the water tower. So whoever it was that sent me the message saying it was 150. I wish it was 150. We'll get onto that at some point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run another cycle through our mobile wash plant. That was the words I was looking for. That needs to be refueled, and I've got a load of fuel over there, which I think I'll probably go into now. So I'm going to run another cycle through the mobile wash plant. I'll probably get another gold bar or two. That will give me another 20 grand, maybe 40 grand. And then I can go and get the rest of the cables and all the various different things I need. So, tier, four, tier three rentals? No, not yet. Hopefully I won't need to, but I have left myself really really short luckily i didn't disconnect all of this because i like i said i do need to run this setup one more time but i have got these various bits i have got the jennings i've got the water pumps hopefully it'll be enough to run everything i need to i'll get the mats in get another grate and then we should be ready to go next episode next episode we'll be rocking and rolling how much fuel have i got left in that 68 percent I don't know if that's enough to fill up the generator, the big, the big generator. Let's disconnect the trailer, don't need that at the moment. I'm leaving the 5 metre cables there, only because if I do end up getting some more stuff, there's no point buying them again. I've got them, it would be madness, absolute madness. Now I'm wasting daylight hours, and that's what I said earlier, you kind of trade off setting things up which can take quite a while with making money i haven't even i haven't even moved towards the worker thing yet and this is tier four here that's i haven't even thought about oh no tier five is a, a distant dream one day one day we'll get there now i, I really do apologize if, if anyone thinks this is at all clickbaity or that I'm doing it on purpose I, I really am not I honestly did not think it would take this long but the problem is once you move everything out here and like I said there's the cost of buying it or renting it then the cost of transporting out here then you need you do need the large excavator to move this big equipment 
that takes a while in itself and the whole time the day's ticking away the hours are disappearing and I, I really was hoping to have it ready to roll but unfortunately not quite yet let's stop there handbrake on engine off my fuel where is it there we go how much is this going to take That looks pretty tight. I think I'm at the full reach of that. Uh, I'm hoping this is a little bit more efficient than the smaller Jennies. Maybe. What I like about this as well is depending on where you hook these in, it tells you. So you can put them in any order you like when you hook them all in. So if I switch it to that one, that'll come up saying shaker. It's cool. Very cool. Loads more to do. Loads more to do. This is going to need water. The water's going to go in there. So that's got its power. That's got water. That's got power. Does the trouble need water? I'm assuming it does. Where does the water go in for the trommel? Or does it? Does it just roll through that? I don't know. How are we looking? Right, we're out of fuel. That's at 88%. Have I got enough money to go and refuel? I don't think I have. It's going to cost me two grand to refuel. So, like I said, I need to do some more gold. I probably jumped the gun. I'm also quite pleased at this point. When I said it was a pivotal moment and I really honestly thought I was going to have to lease some gear... It turned out the sluices weren't as expensive as I thought, and the, this power generator, the um, Alaska Freight container, I thought that was only 40 grand, I thought it was going to be way more than that. So, anyway, that's where we're going to leave it. Next episode, we've got the gear, we'll get it up and running. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.